Hello, fellow hard rockers, metalheads, horror hounds, and everybody else watching. Um, I'm going to do another short ranking video today. And just like a few days ago, I did a crash diet one. Also going to do a fellow Swedish band. As you can see, my Swedish flag hanging up on the wall over there. Because I love Swedish music and metal and culture so much. Also a huge hockey nut, so it makes sense. Uh, and today I'm going to look at a band a lot of people might not know, and that's 220 Volt. They formed in late 1979. Uh, up until today, the only two really uh, founding members still going are uh, Mats Carlson and Thomas Draven. Uh, but for the most part, uh, Peter Hermanson on drums was added. Uh, Jock A. Lundholm was added for vocals, and uh, Mike Christenberg was added for bass. Um, they uh, were basically the major band members through their 80s, um, four albums through their 80s. And in 2014, they got together with a new bass player, a new singer named Anders Egberg, I think, if I remember correctly. Uh, then he left, and then now they have another singer, Goran Nystrom. So who knows if they'll make a new album or not. But um, they have five studio albums. It'll say six if you look it up because it says Lethal Illusion is an album from 1997. I don't have it because it's not really an album. It's a collection of songs that never made albums on, uh, or, yeah, a collection of songs that never made their albums previously. So it's not really uh, a new album. They weren't even together at the time. So I don't count it. But I do have this, which is a compilation after their first four albums called Young and Wild. Um, it's basically take uh, songs off their first, well, first three albums, I should say. Uh, it was before Eye to Eye came out, but uh, Heavy Christmas, which they got together with Jock A in 2009 to do a remix of it. I think that was a, a new song for this release. It also was Young and Wild. So it was like two songs and then a compilation. So getting those out of the way, I'm just going to go through the rankings now. And starting off, I'm going to go with their debut, which is the self-titled 220 Volt. Um... To me, the sound is a little too raw on this, and they haven't got their songwriting uh, skills together just quite yet. Nothing's bad on this album. They're all pretty good songs to decent songs. There's no bad songs, but nothing that really stands out aside from Lonely Nights, the opener. Um, no Return's not bad, and their uh, ballad, AOR ballad, uh, Night Winds, which is probably the highlight on this album, and I believe it was released as a single in Sweden. So... Um, Altogether, not a bad debut, but uh, like I said, their previous or their fo following albums were a lot better. So, coming in at four, I want to do their newest release, 220 Volt, uh, which is uh, Walking in Starlight with the singer Anders Egberg, who only lasted a couple years. Uh, their title track's awesome. Broken Promises, great song. Alive, great song. Um, through the Wastelands is my favorite track off this album. It's really damn good. Um, this is maybe their, um, I don't know, that or uh, Mind Over Muscle is probably their heaviest album. And it just infused with a lot of um, AOR hard rock sound. So I would recommend checking this out. While I prefer their 80s stuff a lot more, this is still a damn good record. Coming in at three, which I, I was surprised to find this. It was in Montreal when I was up there. 220 volt mind over muscle there's the uh whole picture it even has the obi japanese strip um this like i said like their previous album i just talked about the uh walking in starlight this one's really heavy too um this album here is also known as electric messengers which is a track off this album in various parts of the world and their cd apparently is very hard to get the original press there's a lot of bootleg russian uh, bootlegs out there and other country bootlegs because it's so very hard to get but this is a legit copy vinyl apparently the vinyl's easier to track down but I got this for like 20 bucks because it's like $30 Canadian um, so I couldn't pass it up um, but yeah The Tower it's a great opening hard rock track Electric Messengers as I said another hard rocking track my favorite probably 220 volt song Power Games um, great song uh, Mind Over Muscle, great song. Hall Halloween is a great song. Um, the second half just drags a bit. Um, but yeah, Power Games. P 
power games push to the limit. Can't go wrong. I was going to put this at two, but I think it's a toss up between this and power games. Yes, their other album is called Power Games, but it doesn't have the song Power Games on it. Um, but yeah, I would highly recommend checking this out. And if you do look for the CD, make sure it's a legit copy. If you can find a vinyl, even better. So number two, as I just mentioned, Power Games. This is a short album. There's only eight songs on it. It's like uh, 35 minutes or something. Um, but uh, Firefall, which it, you can watch the video they made for it on uh, YouTube right now. A great song. Airborne Fighter, great song. Uh, Night Without End, great song. Over the Top, which is an AOR-ish type song, just like the rest of these songs on here. AOR Hard Rock would fit perfectly in that uh, movie, Over the Top, because it came out a few years later. Just a great song. Mistreated Eyes and Carry On, which is a really good ballad to end a record with. Usually ballads ending records aren't the best option, but what can I say? I can't complain. I got this. It's a reissue, obviously, because I never... The only one I have that's... Uh, legit real uh, original press is the electric or mind over muscle and the newer one because it's it just came out on CD only and then lastly everybody that knows this band will put this first uh, eye to eye this like I do most bands their most commercial album is number one people are gonna bitch about that but like I said the late 80s that was my favorite time period growing up for rock and metal so obviously the most commercial would probably probably be my favorite or close to it and uh this is where they went to like full europe sounding a lot of uh hair metal ish if you want to call it that like um poppy metal at the time uh the harder they come is a great song uh beat of the heart like the beat of the heart great song the title track great song love is all you need is probably their most famous song um that's the video they released from this album uh Still in Love, another cheesy power ballad, of course, but I like it. Um, uh, Money Talks, great songs on the cover, obviously. Well, actually, the ACDC song came out later. Um, but yeah, I got this, and of course, I had the OBI strip on it also. But this might, this, I think this is a reissue, obviously, because I got it off Amazon, so I doubt it's a, a legit. Uh, original, but it does say 1988, so maybe it is also a legit original. Um, I don't know why the Japanese put those OBI strips on there. I was looking up that and it said it has to do with a kimono, like in martial arts and karate, I think. Um, so that's just what the Japanese do. It's cool art to have on it, but on the side of the vinyl, but it also takes away from the whole picture. But so, yeah, that's my ranking of 220 volt. Um, it's a short video, I meant to keep it short. Uh, if you like AOR, hard rock, melodic rock, hair metal, glam, pop rock, all in one from the 80s, you can't get wrong. Um, Europe gets all the spotlight, obviously, because Carrie and Final Countdown, you know, maybe even Rock the Night. Um, but to me, I probably, I definitely prefer Treat, and I might even prefer 220 Volt over Europe as much as I like Europe. Um, but uh, like I said, 220 Volt doesn't have a lot of material. But if you're into that, um, I highly recommend checking checking them out um so i want to get this to uh america's least wanted <laughs> shirt in there um since i didn't have a 220 volt shirt so i'm going to put more links like i usually do one or two links at the bottom and the subscribe button if you want to keep in track with what i'm ranking and what movies i might do even a video game here and there i think i might do another video later today or tomorrow with horror because like I said, I haven't made that many, and I know what more people want to see horror movies. Uh, horror is a passion of mine, but music's by far first, and I, I find it easier to talk about just because that's what I that's what I like. So, um, as always, I'll put the link and the subscribe at the bottom. Rock on, and I'll see you later.